Welcome to Obstacle Running Adventures. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make the bar crawl this year. I'm trying to figure that out if I want to leave Tuesday. Right. And then that, that kind of segues into the, the next section. So tell us where, where you're leaving to. Right. So I'm going straight to Ukraine right after. So I'm going the long way this time. I'm going, I'm going the adventure route. I'm flying into Romania. And then we go to Romania to Moldova. And then we take the train from Moldova to Venezia, which is in Ukraine. And then we hang out in Venezia for a few days. And then my friend from Germany might pick me up. And we might drive to uh, Kharkiv from there. So it's kind of a loose plan right now. So we talked about this very, very briefly at the bar crawl last last year, I think it was. So you have been mm-hmm. on the podcast before. I know you said it, that you hadn't, but we talked briefly there. What I've been you... on the podcast before? Yeah, I interviewed you at the, at the, uh, the bar crawl. No one ever told me I've been on it the wasn't podcast. Like th- it wasn't like this, but I was doing like interviews there. You were totally I feel it. like I'm being catfish. <laughs> it was me. I thought this was my first time on this podcast. This is the first I'm time already... where it's like your own episode. That's, that's My own episode, and we're talking about how I... This is my, this is my second time on it. But what... what tra- is this your third or fourth time out there yeah i don't know yeah. ukraine is one of those countries like I, there's a few countries i just stop keeping track of like germany poland and ukraine i just don't even keep mm. track of in england um but yeah in ukraine my first time i went over there was last year january 2023 and i went back over there in june so that was like the second time then I went back there this year in May, and then I went and I lived there in June through August. So I lived in Ukraine pretty right. hardcore, June through August. But in between that, uh, I was flying, you know, to events around Europe for like the Spartan Ultra thing. I had some other Spartan uh, European thing and another Spartan thing. And then I had to come back for America for a conference for one week. So. I was pretty in and out. I probably went in and out of Ukraine like a dozen times. That's crazy. So. Wow. I, I don't think I realized like how long you were there. I do I do know that I saw you do something that would make Caitlin's dad jealous. You you drove like a tank for a little bit, right? Yeah, I rode on a tank. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It was only for like 30 seconds, but it changed my life. That counts. Yeah. What is it that, that, that drives you to keep returning to Ukraine? Um, I just really like you know, helping people. I really like teaching English to the kids. Um, mm. I like the war. I like war photojournalism. I love the aspect of the dangers of it and really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I just love it. I, I said August, but I meant September because I actually came back September 4th. Now I think about it. Gotcha. So, <clears throat> so, so two things on that real quick. Um, I remember you saying that you were, I think you were, in school were you like back in school to become a teacher or something for a little bit too yeah i actually graduate here pretty soon hey congratulations hopefully hopefully in the next month okay i decided to go the non-licensure part part okay i was like i don't really need the license you know like i don't need a license to drive like i can just drive right So I think Things that people trans- want to hear as they see you careening <laughs> down the hill. World stuff is <laughs> I think that transfers over to teaching. No, I don't think I really need my license yet. I mean, I probably could keep subbing, but I don't think I need my license for a few more years. Mm. So I might do grad school for a little while. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. And then on, on the other side of things too, like you know, photojournalism, there's a lot of uh, kooky theories, uh, a, lot, a lot of bullshit out there. People saying, uh, Ukraine isn't like it's not really at war. Everything's like very overblown. Uh, so, as someone who has gone there in person, I can only imagine. I know how much it, it pisses me off. But w- what do you have to say about like people that don't that are kind of underselling what's happening there in Ukraine? I guess. I mean, there's definitely a war. Uh, that I yeah. can confirm. Whether or not the weapons we are sending over there or making to the front lines is up to your interpretation. Uh, my interpretation is that. Not all of them are making it in the front because it is a very corrupt country. Mm. So I do think they need to be held accountable. I think we do yeah. need to send, we do need to help them, but they need we need more accountability for sure. Um, but they are a very corrupt country. So yeah, I mean they are at war. I see. I see. 
I've seen dead people. I've been in the trenches. Yeah. So. Yeah. 